got the leaf of, leaf of life and juice about three leaves. leaves. I just beat it, you know, like just beat the green leaf, squeeze. squeeze it out, mix it with honey and give her about five or seven ml. And for the entire evening and night, there was no coughing. Hey guys, well, let's here again from my island, Jamaica.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new and exciting series, I'm looking at herbs, Jamaican herbs for particular ailments special conditions and we're starting with cold and flu today i'm back at miss watkins remember that lady the breadfruit flower lady yes man she's same one i'm back at her place she's gonna outline seven potent jamaican herbs for cold and flu one of them is a surefire one and i'm gonna share all of that with you right now well here she is guys Miss Watkins, Rastafari never go old, and today we're looking at the seven potent medicinal herbs for cold and flu. flu. The first one is birch, or oh. otherwise we call it never die ah. or quick stick. Uh huh. And traditionally, how do we use it, Miss? You can use this by steeping it and drinking it for as a tea. Uh -huh. You can drink it as a tea. Uh -huh. You can also make as a tablet. So I have cold. How much of that do, do I use? Yeah, Anna. For the, you can use this amount uh, to make a cup of tea. Okay, so that's um okay. Yeah. And you can sweeten if you want it. For me, who love the sweet, sweeten it. For you who don't use sugar, you don't need to put anything in there. No, you need to take in medicine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you take in medicine, you don't sweeten. All right, so that's a quick stick, otherwise known as never die. Number one, or birch. Number two, you got chiganet here. Chiganet. Now this is brand new to me. <laughs> As I see this bush or herb, but it's usually just wild. Yeah, this is a chiganet. All right. Uh, it, that's the only name we know it as locally. Right. The, uh, the, the scientific name is on screen as well, guys. Tell me how you use this one now, Miss Watkins. This one is still use it to make a tea. Uh -huh. You can just use three leaves uh -huh. to make a cup of tea. Uh -huh. And yeah. drink. And drink. And again, well, you we, want it warm or uh, you want it cold? This is all right. Chicken. Number two, number three. Next, Jan Charles. Jan Charles, and this is how the Jan Charles look. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this herb. This is this is this is, a, this is this is a popular herb here in Jamaica. You think? Very popular, very uh. popular. You find them mostly in the cow come and the cow them would eat. Uh huh. Are the cow eat it? Eat it as well. Okay. okay. Eat them all. So you would just use this. Use about this amount to make a cup of tea. Uh -huh. Oh, that's one prick, you call it? No, that's, a that's a limb. Have one limb, a okay. Limb. Yes, a cup of steep, tea. steep it and drink. Is it dry or...? You can, you can pick them and quail them. It's not nice to use green herbs. Mm -hmm. Because when you use green herbs, they give you bilious. So okay. You use them... Um, quail or quail dry. Or or dry Alright, so that's... Chig Sorry, what is it? John Charles. John Charles. Mm -hmm. Alright, number that's number three. Number, two. Uh, number four. Vervine. The vervine, the good old vervine. Now I know this well. I know this well. All right. And this yeah, is this we're, is we're in the dry season now, so that's why we get the looking a little bit you like. You have two different types. You have the male and the female. Oh. One, one of the leaf is big and one is small. Uh -huh. So you have a male and a female. Uh -huh. So this is also good for the cold. Uh -huh. So you can use this to make a cup of tea also. Uh -huh. Just steep it. Uh -huh. And then you drink whether warm or cold. Mm -hmm. You can drink it like for five days mm -hmm. well hopefully the cold gone by that time though but but <laughs> you can use it up to that the cold. yes 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 okay all right so that's a vervine and there also we're, we're talking off camera just before you get number five is that number five or number yeah number five we we, we said um many of these herbs are used can be used for several other ailments right mm -hmm. but we're just focusing right now on the on the coal and, and the coal all right this is susumber. Uh huh. And this is susumber can use to make a tea also. Uh huh. Susumber leaf. Yeah, this is a leaf. So two leaves, as you two, have it there. Two leaves, cause sometimes the leaves are bigger. Remember, because it's dry now. Uh huh. Sometimes you have the leaves bigger, uh -huh. so you just pick it, uh -huh. let it quail, uh -huh. make your tea, make uh -huh. your cup of tea. Uh huh. You steep it and uh -huh. you drink it. Like try five five days same way. Uh huh. 
and that's it your pole will be gone all right <laughs> and this is coming from the rastafarian natural rastafari, this rastafari yeah. this lady don't use nothing no sugar no sugar no sugar no nothing commercial right guys no no sugar, nothing no commercial in the hills of west malan jamaica Saint number six Saint that is rango national or otherwise known as rango dashalang i know it has rango dashalang yes yes this this is a very common cold medicine mm. uh-huh yes common cold medicine yes 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 and you can use this amount to make a cup of tea big up miss malin guys miss malin and her team from from St. Mary, St. Mary, we have a special, we did a special feature on this particular herb here, Rango Dashalang. And there's a link in the description to that as well. So bigger up on this, if you want to learn more about this herb, Rango Dashalang, powerful herb for impotence. Herb impotence. But what Miss, it's for colds. what Miss Watkins. Watkins is saying, soft-spoken Watkins is saying that it's also good for cold. cold yes. All right, so good, cold, good, good, good. So. Medicine. Same that like that amount, Miss Watkins? Yes, just this amount can make a cup of tea. Uh huh. And, and you, more, you said more than this. Just dry or or you quail it. Uh huh. Steep it in and don't don't boil it. Just steep it. Uh huh. And you drink. You can take. All it right. Before. And just before we go to number seven, I'm gonna ask you guys if you're getting any value from this, make sure you like it. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I need you now. Subscribe. We do a lot of these stuff talking about the real Jamaica, the real Jamaica in general, but we look at herb, we had a special feature on herbs, and now we're looking at a special series on ailments, and with this one, cold um, herbs for cold and flu. And so we are at the big one, number seven, the big boy, number big seven boy is? is leaf of life. Yes, man. It's an all-purpose um, herb, uh -huh. and it is good for the cold and the flu. All right, I have a personal testimony. Also, it's also good for other ailments, a lot of ailments, anxiety, uh -huh. pain, uh -huh. asthma, bronchitis, you name it. And uh -huh. you, can use, you can use it to make a tea, uh -huh. you can eat, eat the leaf, you can eat Oh, you can raw. eat the leaf as well? Oh. Yeah, you can eat the leaf raw, uh -huh. you, can, you can warm the leaf and uh -huh. juice it out and drink it for the cold also. Uh-huh. You can we also use it to make capsules. Mm -hmm. So we make capsules from it. Mm -hmm. Here we go with our leaf of life capsules. Mm -hmm. You take one capsule twice per day mm -hmm. from this leaf of life. Mm -hmm. So so somebody with the coal somebody. is how many how much how much how much how do you recommend? You can put just five leaves. Sometimes uh -huh. you regular get the five leaves. average leaves. Right. Uh -huh. Sometimes the leaves are bigger to make a cup of tea with uh -huh. five leaves. And if or you just juice juice the leaf if uh -huh. you want. Uh-huh. Right, and you make a cup of tea and you have it twice per day. You can have two of the tablets, uh -huh. one, two times a day. One tablet, two times a day, for the cold? Yes, for the cold or flu. All right, All right. So guys, ready for my testimony? Give me a thumbs up now. <laughs> I say it's my testimony, but it's actually my daughter's testimony, Nyla. Big up, Nyla. Right now, we, she had a horrible cold. Went to the doctors, got the, the antibiotics and stuff. And she got, she got better. She felt better. And... Uh, for about three four days but after that again a cold came back so i'm not sure if she got a new one or it's the same old one and i said life. you know i know antibiotic you don't take antibiotic behind each i mean so quick right mm -hmm. so i i, that I said that i need to get some herbs man i said we use up the herbs and say i got the leaf of, leaf life. of life and juice about three, three leaves. leaves i just beat it you know like just beat the green leaf squeeze squeeze it out and put honey in there somebody told me about it mix it with honey and gave her about five or seven ml and honest to god there was for the entire evening and night there was no coughing and it was he had a tough dry hacking cough i that's my personal test i say it's personal because if it's not my daughter it's for me yeah <laughs> yes man so that is that is my testimony yes, and that is why i call it a surefire one yes it's leaf of life remember the name of it leaf of life and you, you agree with me that it's a powerhouse right yes it is leaf of life guys so seven potent medicinal herbs for cold and flu in jamaica summarize them again let's mention the name again miss so we say birch uh-huh we say um chiganit uh-huh we have um, janchas, uh -huh. we have the vervain, uh -huh. we have susumber, uh -huh. we have rambot national, uh -huh. and the leaf of life. And the leaf of life. There are many more, but these we consider to be some of the strongest ones, or the good ones, or at least the ones that we have proven to commonly use, commonly use, for, use. for cause in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. 
check them out uh the scientific names are also in the description guys uh miss watkins though she actually has a pro she mentioned it earlier she has a product she has the leaf alive in tablet in tablet form so just show them again and and yeah, remind them leaf of life remind capsules yeah remind where you can take two capsules uh -huh. one two times a day uh-huh anyway it's, it's good for cold uh -huh. it's good for bronchitis uh -huh. pneumonia asthma long it's issues good, long issues and yeah. it's good for also anxiety and so on. remind them how the people can reach contact you if they need to by calling one eight seven six eight six three eight zero seven six instagram mm -hmm. youtube tiktok <laughs> rastafari never go you're all, all, all over the place my island jamaica oh. <laughs> you will find miss watkins absolutely absolutely place. and all the contact information is in the description as well the cassava flower uh, yeah she she does a wide range of products and this is good for the cancer uh -huh. you know and we have the all-purpose spice 19 different herbs mm -hmm. here we have our roots tonic mm -hmm. powerhouse tonic this mm -hmm. cures all other diseases mm -hmm. we have the coconut oil mm -hmm. we have the castor and, and black this, castor oil hold on the coconut oil is this is it this is a cold pressed cold coconut press one. oil uh -huh. and this one boil uh-huh okay mm -hmm. And here we have our castor oil. Mm -hmm. We have a skin and hair treatment. Original Jamaican black castor oil. Say it, man. It's good for any dry scalp, dandruff, any pain you have. Uh. This can move pain. Mm -hmm. It's also, I use it on my skin. I use it in my hair. Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. And then you have the root tonic here. And then we also have here Irish mush and sorrel drink. Mm -hmm. We have Irish mush and sorrel, Irish mush drink. Mm -hmm. We have a drink that is made from... Casa banana, pineapple, star fruit, uh -huh. you, you name them, uh -huh. a lot of fruits. We have them all. Uh -huh. We have the turmeric here. Uh -huh. You know, turmeric is good for cancer, it's good for your skin, it's good for the hair. Uh -huh. It has so many potent. We have the turmeric and ginger over here also. Mm -hmm. Use them to make a paste for your face mm -hmm. or you use it to cook your vegetables. You can put it in your tea, you can put them in your porridge. Mm -hmm. Just about anything you mm -hmm. can use them for. Awesome, awesome. Here's a bit of bonus information for you as well. Guys, Miss Watkins want to tell you that there, there is a... Turmeric and the ginger. Uh -huh. You can also use it to make a tea. It's good for the flu also. Uh -huh. One teaspoon to uh -huh. a, cup of, a cup of water. Uh -huh and put to steep and you can drink it for the cold and the flu all information all the links all the contact information and all all resources related to these products guys are in the description below that's it guys seven traditional jamaican herbs for cold and flu which one of them jump out at you are you familiar with any of them i'd love to hear from you share it and there's another video i need you to see 60 medicinal herbs of Jamaica. We did a tour at St. Anne, Miss Roderick and her husband. We did a tour there capturing 60 medicinal herbs of Jamaica. If not yet seen, you definitely need to see it. Check it out. Link in the description and it's in the card above. See you in that one.